Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to graph using slope-intercept form. So we're going to be graphing a linear equation, or we also could be doing a linear function. But we're just going to deal with the equation part of this. So we're going to be dealing with slope-intercept form. So slope-intercept form looks like this. y equals mx plus b. All right. Now it's very important for us to remember in slope-intercept form, we need to make sure we understand that m represents our slope, and b represents our y-intercept. All right, so let's just go and take a look at a graph real quick. Let's just say I had a nice little linear graph, looks something like this, where here's my x-axis and here's my y-axis. All right, now on this graph, the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. So if I'm given an equation and I'm given some information and I know exactly what the y-intercept is, I know this point. That's where we're going to be the point where the graph crosses the y-intercept. Now the next thing is we need to remember the slope. And remember when we were talking about slope, what we talked about was, you know, if we had, I'll just use these two points. If we had two points to find the slope, that was the change in the y coordinates over the change in the x coordinates. So we had an x coordinate here. Let's just call these ones uh, x1 and y1. And then we had another point, x2 and y2. So remember, when we were talking about the slope, what I like to do is I wanted to create a slope triangle. right? And that slope triangle was the right angle, or sorry, right angle triangle that found the difference between my two triangles. Where here, the difference was y2 minus y1, and over here was x2 minus x1. And what's so important about understanding the slope, especially when you're given the slope intercept form, if I'm given one point and I, I need to remember a point or a, a linear equation or a linear graph is a set of all points that are going to make up the line. So I need to be able to figure out what the next point is because all you need is two points to create a graph. So if I need to be able to figure out what the next point is, if I'm given the slope, then that what that slope tells me is remember, so let's say you know, if I'm given the slope m, remember that equals the change in your y over the change in your x. So if I'm given one point here, let's say I have the y-intercept, and I need to find another point, and I'm given the slope, if that slope is like 2 over 3, that means the change in y is 2 and the change in x is 3. So I would go up 2 units, yeah, that's a little, up 2 units, and then over 3 units, 1, 2, 3. And that would be my next point. Right? And then I can draw a graph from there. Um, however, let's say, uh, let's say that my, graph, my slope is negative 1 over 1. That means I'm going to go left 1, left 1 unit, and then down 1 unit. Right? And that's going to find me my next point, which I can then graph. So what we're going to do when we're using the slope-intercept form, the first thing we always want to do is find the y-intercept, because that's pretty obvious to be able to point out it's the point that's on the y intercept or the y axis. You find that point. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use the slope and use our triangle find, by finding the change in the y over the change of x to move from our y intercept to our next point. And then once we have two points that we know are on the line, we can connect them and then draw a graph. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's just a brief little overview on how we're going to graph using slope intercept form. Thanks.